Hey guys, how's it going? This is some guy, and today I'll be giving my opinion on uh, Saka, Saka, so Saka or Little Buddha. It's been a while. I've got a lot of old requests for various artists in the pool, uh, but none of them really stood out as like a clear winner. So I've just gone with this because I I saw this a while ago recommended for me, and I, I saved it to check out later. I think it's relatively new, like maybe five, six months old. Um, and yeah, I haven't checked out a little bit in a while, so that's it. I rate it massively from what I've heard previously. Let's jump in and hear this. Hi, Dad. How you been? I've been well. I tripped over and fell today. Don't worry, just a thin swell. I thought I'd write to you and send this book your fly. Remember how you said I'd be nothing in life? Look at me now, Dad. What does this remind me of? It's a bit like Eminem, sort of, in the style that he talks sometimes when he's in, like, that slim, shady persona. But Eminem's a bit more, um... I don't know what's the what's the word this is a bit more strange <laughs> this 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 feels like it he's trying to sort of put himself across as being like a child maybe but yeah from a rap perspective i love this sort of offbeat flow um well a trip hi dad how you been i've been well i tripped over and fell today it's like stan it's like the sort of flow in stan that's what I'm thinking of, even though it's not really the same. Hey, don't worry, just a thin swell. I thought I'd write to you and send this book your fly. Remember how you said I'd be nothing in life? Look at me now, Dad. I've got a man's place. I've got a fan base. His Sonny's now a man. Damn, he used to do my band's lace. Walk me around, love and lying by my old man. Now I'm old enough to walk around and buy my own bands. And it's giving me the chills, Dad. Just writing this, I'm home all day and night. I'm on my PC, right, typing it. Making him beats, making Making him songs to listen to. I know that I'm saying this in the picture like I'm missing you, but I'm not. Love the way he writes. I feel like the last. Yeah, I think it was the last track I reacted to of his. It was a more sort of a commercial track, which I, I, I always. I never cri uh, want to criticize an artist for sort of pushing uh, the boundaries, trying new things um that's absolutely fair but yeah for me it wasn't really that when i first got into rap from the pool i think king of net pop was the one where i was like wow there's talent here and uh little buddha in particular was so good on that and right now he's displaying some of that t rap talent that as well as telling a story i'm saying this in the picture like i'm missing you but i'm not I'm not a play call. I can live this life, live it fine, and I can make dough. What I've been asking you is a love. I can live. You thought I was a mistake, didn't you? I'm not a play call. I can live this life, live it fine, and I can make dough. What I've been asking you is a love, a bit of motivation. But you thought that giving that was too much. Fully taken, Dad. Now I'll find some other things to motivate it. Fully taken. Is, is that meant to be a play on. So initially, I thought his dad might be. Like might have passed away, but this now is giving much more the vibe of either he's alive and not involved in his life, like he should be, or maybe he died, but it was for a reason that he resents him for. I think I think I'm getting the vibe that he's probably he could have like been more involved and chose not to. 
can make dough But I've been asking you Is there love or better motivation But you thought that giving that was too much Fully taken dad Now I'll find some other things to motivate it Well I love you This ain't enough I got most to take it Like the time an uncle kill himself You could abide it I wish that you was dead instead of him I would have liked you my Oh right okay well that answers my question And it also tells me what he thinks of his dad So His uncle killed himself and he's saying that he was either well either responsible or could have done more but yeah the main point being he would have rather his dad had died than his uncle so I guess the relationship's not great, to put it mildly. Uh, Uncle kill himself, you could have bought it. I wish that you was dead instead of him. I would have liked him, might because he was a good man, living a hard time. He was going through shit. You were living apart fine. You never chose to rose him with the love and make it better than You were living apart fine. Okay, that answered my question. So he was out of choice with minimal other reason not involved in Little Buddha's life. Shit. You were living a pop fine, you never chose to rose him with the love and make it better, dad. Your son, he chose the shows, I hope you get this letter, letter. Let's point out as well, like, again, from a rap perspective, the the way he's rhyming right now, I don't know how to describe it technically, but it's... It just sounds technically good. Like, like he's... With the love and make it better, dad. Your son, he chose the shows, I hope you get... Internal rhymes. That's it. So, so you suddenly chose to show. I hope you like the way he's saying those those rhymes so cleanly. So nice. This letter, letter. <laughs> Since seven, sad you'll never get this letter. Letters can't be sent to heaven, Dad. Oh, well, okay. Gone full circle. So now I'm now I'm unsure whether he's saying. Is it like Eminem and his mum, where when he was a lot older, he kind of acknowledged, not that she was, like not that what he said was completely untrue or anything. But he understood to to an extent that it wasn't. Like he could see a bit of her perspective anyway that it was hard for her. So is he saying that like he was still not a good dad, but he loves him and he understands a bit more that you know it could be hard being an adult slash parent. Or is he saying that he was fully in the wrong? This letter, letters can't be sent to heaven, Dad. <laughs> I'm assuming if you wished him dead, it's pro it's probably it sounds a bit like to use this comparison again, the relationship Eminem had with his mum, where it was not good at all. And then it wasn't until he was much later in life that he was able to sort of forgive at least some of it. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> so yeah, that that was that was different. I've not heard um, Lil Buddha do a track like that before, and I liked it a lot. Um, it's all personal preference, but I, I love what he's doing with sort of yeah. It sounds like he's he's commer commercially a lot more successful now. 
But in terms of what I like to listen to, this is more up my street. Um, yeah, I'd be interested to know more. If, if anyone knows of any other songs where he talks about his relationship with his dad, um, or just in general does this sort of more introspective deep rap, let me know. Uh, or any other tracks where he, he raps. Like that's, that's what I like to hear from him personally. Um, because he's so, so talented. Like, as I said, King of Netpop. I know it's not just him on there, but when I first said that, I was like, wow. Um, so yeah, that was, uh, well, I guess I kind of expected it because of the name of the song, but unexpected in the sense that I've not heard that from him before. Um, but yeah, very, very good. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and comment if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. Really appreciate that. Otherwise, I'm out.